Hey everybody, so today we're going to be playing Faith. I know it's not a new game, but it's a good one, and I wanted to I wanted to see it all the way through, because it's just a kind of nostalgia after all this time. And I love that 8-bit style. This game is loud. September 21st, it's loud for me. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. I begin. Chapter 1 A new game Okay It's okay WASD spacebar Man, I love these style games Oh shit, yeah. Have you forgotten already? This forest has a mind of its own. And if you get lost, you could always try remembering where you've been. Pressing the escape key or start button is a good place to start. Okay, that's the important one. We got a map. There's the road. So we'll go to the tree, well, and then the house. Let's get this cursor out of here. Tree. Oh. Be gone, demon. Oh, that's a lot of words. Today. Today I noticed Amy's favorite tree. Look, looks like it's dying. All the needles are falling off it and the bark is peeling. I guess I'm more upset about it than Amy is. She's totally absorbed in her volunteer work at the clinic. I guess it's good that she found something she's passionate about. But I've gotten ugly looks from some of the women at the book club. Kathy and her religious friends won't even talk to me anymore. We're tree. Oh. Blood. I believe. Yep, where is he, where is he, where is he, where is he, where is he? Chaos reigns. Okay, this is not here. Let's go to the well. One more. Yo! Oh, that was lucky, dude. Fuck yeah! That legitimately fucking scared me. Come celebrate Nate and Jason's sixth birthday, Saturday, May 3rd, 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Directions turn right at 1338 Snake Meadow Hill Road and go straight past the well. I think, if I remember correctly, we don't want to go to that main house because the door is locked. We need to go to the abandoned house. Motherfucker. 
Oh, Jesus. Bob, the kids and I miss you more and more every day. The twins Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to the real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their heads covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was pretty gruesome sight. All this just a day after the twins birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Oh, their hands were covered in blood. Okay. Not their head. I was like, why the fuck was their head covered in blood? Dad! Motherfuckers. Weird ass kids. Okay. okay. I'll admit, I'm a bitch when it comes to scary games. Uh, they actually scare me. The Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off the Snake Meadow Hill Road. There is almost no driveway. The trees jut out in the middle of the gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father... Alfred? Alred? We'll just say Alfred. Father Alfred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights I saw an old shed off to the right of the path. Father Alfred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism away from the house. But the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family present makes it difficult to proceed with the elements of the right that may seem harsh to the lay person. It's because they are fucking harsh. And a lot of people have died from exorcisms. Key! Uh -huh. Oh, he's coming. That motherfucker. Right when I get that key, he's gonna come in now. Oh, yeah, bitch. Save. And if I remember correctly, that little fucking night crawler skinwalker is gonna be fast now. Just stay away from the edges. It's hard when they come at. Yeah, a diagonal. You actually have to go diagonal. You do have to actually, yeah, like that. Okay. Off to the house. And there's a fucking deer that startled me. We eventually have to go left. We'll do that now. Like his little strut. Hell yeah. Well, that's the well we fuck with. Oh my god. You fucking asshole. What happened? Cuck. No music? God. Damn it, bro. Fuck out of the way. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Pretty sure we were one square away. 
from the house. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, I saw movement. Please be a save. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down there in, rest, in restraints. I felt for him. There was guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It is hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Uh. Uh, uh, how about the music? I don't like when it gets quiet. Blood. Peloton. Okay. Can't go in there. Rubber ducky. Water. There was a demon in the dock. <clears throat> I don't feel safe in my home. In my own home anymore. I hear voices outside around the house at night. I don't let the twins go out in the woods to play because I'm afraid of what's out there. The house itself feels stressed, distorted, slanted somehow. It's like I'm walking through a carnival fun house. Amy's condition has only gotten worse. I can't stand to be around her. And I don't know why. She just doesn't seem like herself anymore. I want to take her to the doctor, but I can't leave the boys here. I find that the phone stops working throughout the day. And now I can't seem to find my car keys. Thank God Bob comes home tomorrow. Oh my god. That's not fucking good. I'm legitimately getting freaked out right now. This fucking... 8-bit horror game shit. Get out of here. Bitch. So trading. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll for Amy's birthday. I'll ask Anish about it next time we have a book club. She looks like she could be from over there. <laughs> That's kind of profiling, you fucking bitch. Amy didn't seem excited to the, see the doll. I think she would have rather had a phone instead. Or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self-conscious about working at the clinic. Oh, God. What the fuck does that mean? An abortion clinic? I don't know. What the fuck would I know? I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic when I got up there. I was freezing cold. I found Amy standing in the back looking straight at me like when I first met her downstairs. Ooh. We spoke briefly, although it was frustrating to talk to her. Or it. I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name and in other instances spoke perfectly, perfect Latin. I called for help from the others, but nobody came. So I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. Did I get the demon out of the doll? Or whatever that is? I really hate that there's not music right now. Oh my gosh, look at all these demon dolls. Come on. Which one? Simon! Simon says! I just get. 
annoying lawnmower, vacuum cleaner, popper, ball thingy. Okay, we did a Yui. Let's get the heck out of here. So, attic. Yeah, that's an attic. And then there's a basement. I don't know, man. What is that? Is that a head? That looks like a head. <clears throat> there's a picture. Oh. That's beautiful. If my son drew that, he'd be sleeping outside. That's all I know. Is there a demon in the plant? There's a door in the kitchen. We'll just I think it just takes me outside though. I know they're supposed to Oh, I didn't see the fucking stairs. Alright, motherfucker. What is in the corner? Please, just anything besides dead silence. I'm freaking out, man. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Are those dead people? No, it's water. Okay. I don't even know what that was. Dear Amy, thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you asked, what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary? The area we are working in has a lot of folks who practice Quimbamba. It's what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy about 15 when he asked him, when we asked him if he ever prayed he said no but I have prayed to San La Muerte he told us about a time when he stayed over at his cousin's house and at, according to him they prayed to some figures of San Muerte and the figures made things in your house move around he got real quiet and scared looking after that we told him he could pray to God and that God wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months. Leighton. Okay, get your fucking mind right. I have a feeling there's going to be a boss battle down here. Oh, uh, yeah. Fucking mannequins, bro. I hate mannequins. Like, really, an unhealthy amount of hatred I have in my heart towards mannequins. The fuck is that? Where the fuck is that my door? Oh my god. I see blood. I see blood. 
paper. Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off the fear. Father Alfred asked me to take the Martins upstairs. I was physically worn out, but managed to get them back up the stairs into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother! The whole time, finally I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement, so I went down to check on things. I found Father Alfred lying on his back unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. <clears throat> Amy was not in the chair. I think Father Alfred's dead, bro. That's what I think. I think Father Alfred is dead. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, we got a little cutscene. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He is here. But now, I am not happy with what dude okay what the fuck how the fuck am I supposed to we're gonna try one more time I love the way that looks. Alright, so she's gonna appear. Oh. You little bitch. Little bitch. Okay. Uh... Seriously, dog. Alright, guys. That's gonna be it for this one. Thanks for watching, and we will finish this game. I don't know how long it is. I just bought it. Um, but yeah, we'll see.